interesting Smash character. Uh, everything else is really just icing on the cake. It would be nice to hear about anything related to uh, Silk Song, Hollow Knight Silk Song, because uh, it's been forever since they said anything about that. Um, so I would greatly appreciate any information that they could give us on Hollow Knight Silk Song. Um, that being said, I'm not like Jones and hard for it. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? It's also getting a bit dark on my end, so I'm going to turn the light on so you guys can see me better. Let me close my blinds too. I'm at it. Uh, so yeah. Hollow Knight Silk Song. Um... I don't want them to do, like, I don't need them to do any Pokemon reveals. What I would like to hear from them is their plans for Pokemon Day. So, like, just drop a hint, like, okay, on Pokemon Day, we're going to talk about some amazing stuff or something like that. So that we have something to look forward to in terms of, you know, the Pokemon stuff. Because we still don't know anything about whether or not they're still going to do the Gen 4 remakes. Uh, whether or not they're going to come out with the Gen 2 Let's Go. Um... You know, we don't know any of that stuff yet. Um, and so we would like, I would like to know some of that stuff. Exactly at five o'clock. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. Can you guys hear over here? It's not too loud, is it? Yeah, this is definitely Smash Brothers. Actually, this is... Did they finally put a Xenoblade character other than Stroke and Smash? One day, Pyra just disappeared. He's gonna be in Smash Watch? He's gonna go looking for Pyra and it's gonna be in Smash Watch. I couldn't find her anywhere. Wait, wasn't Rex a meme costume? It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you. Whatever it takes. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation to join Smash! Huh? Huh? Hey, they put Pyra in? Oh my god! Oh, I thought I was gonna be in Smash. Just sit back and leave it to me, Rex. They spit the all the in Rex's face. Ah! Smash player, you powered up your Smash attack with fire. They spit Lazing all the inside of Rex's face. Though. That's hilarious. Blazing in! <laughs> That's genius. You pretty much no, the sword them. character. And these are seasoned fighters. There are no pushovers. Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Let me handle this. Don't tell me she's in it too. Uh oh, we got a echo fire. Mithra! Oh close, wait, huh? don't tell me it's gonna be two. It's gotta be Echo Fighter, right? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Lightning Buster! Who's on it? Ray is punishment! Throw with us! Foresight! Whoa! You can even use that! Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Cut right here! 
It's mad. You two can swap between each Much better than Sephiroth. Uh... Blinding speed. Together. Personal opinions only. Uh, that, that, that's definitely a personal opinion. Um, I would say arguably Smash, uh, Sephiroth was way better than this. You hate Sephiroth in general? Yeah. But again, that's, that's a personal opinion. I would say that overall Sephiroth is probably had a character in Smash. Right now. She does count as a sword unit. So wait, they get different specials? Sure did. With our power. So does she? She must transform. Sure. I never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Ooh, fighting words. You forget. Oh, they're one person. Okay, it's our villain. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. She's actually, they're actually one person. I like it. I wonder what, Hello, I wonder everyone. what the... It's been a while. I'm Shino Takahashi now, from Nintendo. I wonder how they're act reacting now. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Okay, that was, that was hype, though. what you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay oh, tuned wow, that's just a bit longer. We just got All right, Zephyr. let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Yep, they bought Fall Guys to the Switch. Finally! We're changing to the Switch! Now I can play with my wife. So, to be fair, I was already spoiled by Twi Twitter because they literally posted it at the start of the direct. A video like two minutes of Nintendo Direct with Fall Guys. When oh, Fall really. Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system, summer 2021. You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. You thought they added Yoshi in there? Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind here. by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. <laughs> However, to to everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. So wait, you don't die? By Instead repeating these cycles, the, the you'll gradually switch? unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. Uh, it was never confirmed. They always said that it's possible that it would come What switch. messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Put your sleuthing skills to the test Explosion in two classic like, murder I think mystery Adam games. Worlds already exist on the, the Famicom PC Detective and, uh, Club, The Missing Xbox Air, stuff, right? and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. I was like, why is You'll be on the edge so of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. 
In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while I'm dealing sorry, with sorry, I had to put that HD quality on. But that's not the only case oh, to crack. Oh, it looks so much better with the HD quality on. Kind of got your wish. Oh, I in the other game, oh, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Why are her lips Interrogate so... suspects and hunt for clues to piece together so these chilling lips. conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? No. <laughs> Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo oh. eShop. I actually wonder how much those are going to cost. A new age of battles be begins. Watch this be Nobunaga's ambition. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be Nobunaga's ambition. Or something Nobunaga related. Right. Samurai Warriors 5. I haven't played a Samurai Warriors game The in latest forever. entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period hey, it looks as good, the series though. now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high-octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1,000 battles. In Samurai Warriors 5. Slashing its way onto Nintendo it Switch, good, summer though. 2021. I will give it that. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. Fadiel. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. There you go, Legend of Mana. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map, is there you empty. Go. Trim TV During your travels, switch. you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on it when and great. where to place artifacts, as well as how great. to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, <laughs> as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. That Legend of like Man will launch on Nintendo Switch, June 24th. Okay, we're getting a lot of stuff coming out in summer. That's gotta be Rise. Yep, let's not arrive. Rock new Kodaki. That's a giant spider. Uh, no thank you, I don't want to fight that. Sorry, oh. yeah. Oh, video. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, the Kaluma elder looks like Wolverine. Attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some 
devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter's about to face the biggest challenge yet! Go! Go! No! We can't lose this game! Pull yourselves together! So, is You're it not getting in. monster invasion so in the, the base? Don't Wait, what? Somewhere else. Oh, this is gonna be amazing! Watch out for the Apex! Do not let it pass! What's the Apex creatures look like? How long do you think it's going to last? Oh man, this game just looks better and better the more they show about it. Hinoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance! <laughs> they actually fight. We must stop the calamity! March 26. You guys know what I want for my birthday. Or at least one of the things. Oh, uh, what? Oh, no! I can't afford another Switch! That was the latest trailer for Monster Check. Hunter Rise Check. from Capcom. You know what I want for my birthday right there? How will our heroes fare against Monster these Hunter ferocious Nintendo monsters? Switch. Stay tuned for the latest installment <laughs> in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. That, that, oh, man. Yay! We finally got a Mario Golf! open once again. Yay! Tee off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Study the wind and terrain. Now, where's take Mario Strikers? To think things through. Then, swing. When we having a golf tournament? Uh... Good question. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Sorry, Bowser. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the Let's sensation go. of golfing. <laughs> On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this okay, one, escape. Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course oh, to I reach love your this ball. Mode. Give it another whack this to mode. get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. So long as it's story then mode is better than, allocate uh, points to different stats, allowing uh, you to develop your character cases. however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Everything's Super Rush coming out swings in summer. on Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop so after dry. this presentation. Our pockets are going to be so dry come March. I mean, come the latest May. game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy-to-learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, so this game includes all delivered. five episodes filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. 
embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch well, March like 24. This. I'm not really all that interested in the... Uh... 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are the coming Tales. to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that oh, nostalgic geez, itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Okay. But you only get, I think, what? Brains. Hey, it's the bully. As a zombie, oh, no, you zombie. just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre-orders begin okay, today on Nintendo Switch. Hey, it's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero I, ranking felt like I was inside just looking Earth's at, uh, Premier. As the crass, beam katana-wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, video, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the okay. world is at stake. So get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Never Nintendo Switch. One. August 27th. Not so sure how you feel about this one. Exterminate demons in he you. heaven. As above, so below. Neon white. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Finally, uh, come on for No More Heroes. It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. So weird. Am I the only one that thought this was weird? That looked weird. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here oh, to no, save the no day. Cares. Go away. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. No AKA cares. Go away. Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This uh, is Supergirl. Those. She's super that strong and has heat vision. Plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep know? our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. You play this over. Sometimes it'd be nice to get yeah. out of class and do some shopping downtown with my to. besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos. Yeah, being said, I'm not playing either. Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We've just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Team Power, heroically sourced onto Nintendo Switch, June 4th. Flash Life Superhero Team Game. 
Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Hey, it's Mushroom Head. Is this Plant vs. Zombies? Is this a Plant vs. Zombies MOBA? Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. Band together on a quest to face evil and save faces. Wait, but Mies are gone. is coming to Nintendo Switch. Are they going to let us start making Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your Mii creations and make them even more fabulous. In the world of Miitopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Ah, fight each other. Whoa, you can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good. Care for that it, was terrible. and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia, coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. So this pre-orders right? begin today on Nintendo eShop. This, this is a port, right? Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. Oh yeah, I heard about this. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. So you got Mario, Luigi, Familiar Mario items and like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. Oh, this is kind of cool, though. You can also place two warp pipes. Oh, you then know you I gotta to do travel this. between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? Oh, you know I'm about to have too much fun A with A free this. update for the game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. I'm gonna be. Uh, Keep an eye on the oh official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the miles. latest information. So I can purchase all that stuff. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. Sir, yes, sir. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoy that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another By game way, to show we, you. We released this game. Don't forget to buy it. Do it now. Fire Emblem. Oh no, this is probably Bravely Default. Oh no, this is probably another Octopath. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader and must be the beacon others uh, look to when the night is dark. Together with these the fields, today you burn. Nintendo Wii U, I to do all but in they my added online multiplayer as, uh, to it as well. One of us. But the Bowser Fury part, that's completely new to this. That's completely new to uh, Super Mario 3D far, World for the Switch. Far, away lies the continent of Norzilia. 
comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious yeah, looks, resources really eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames war. of war threatened to engulf the realm once iron. again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. I love a character's attack RPGs. range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from oh, higher yeah. ground with long-range oh, weapons, yeah. such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use Definitely the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. Oh wow! So they even yeah. added ways it is to of the create utmost your importance own to survey the battlefield uh, before taking action. Build a uh, build effects. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions oh, in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Once more, I would ask you plainly, do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the I votes like are cast. I, I so really like this. To relinquish I, I like that Why? they're allowing your choices to forced. affect the game As more and more so critical heavily. decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a oh, it's a working title, which means RPG it's not coming out for another year. Enix, will launch in 2022. Yep. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. Okay. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing right. your responses you on the demo. We got a demo. Play. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Oh, oh, is this bad? Is this... Is this Rebel, Rebel some Rogue Skies or something like that, I think? Star Wars Rogue Skies or something? Oh, it's Hunters! Star Wars Hunters, okay, let's go! It Star Wars win. Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Hey, Clash in this third-person shooter coming to online, Nintendo Switch I'm in 2021. It. It's gonna be better than Fortnite. Alright, let's do this. Alright, sound. <laughs> Do I look at you or the camera? <laughs> Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. Corgan use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, <laughs> not be stuck charm. up in some tower waiting for a hero. In my line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once. Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with 
My hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Come get some. Oh, so this is like dodgeball? Let's find out what sound your face makes. Incoming! Be the ball. Be the ball. Catch me. Watch that. Hands up, your highness. a bunch of dairy farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, oh. not a bloody fashion oh. show. Pass to me. Oh, this looks like it's, oh. it's going to be fun. Interview's over. Oh, come on, man, one more game. <laughs> this actually looks like it's going to be fun. I hope they come out with a demo for this. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight. Dodgeball Cause you're all going to kiss. play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. To scare you all, but the game is canceled. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. And, and what and awaits you all at probably. the end of your journey? The battle for survival hey, begins so in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. This is like something uh, that the wife would like. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. All right, got the Hades, digital copy. the critically acclaimed Church. dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards, is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood-pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous Supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Oh, wow. I already purchased the, the digital of this. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Oh, they gave us a Ninja Gaiden collection? Let's go. Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, Wow, and okay. Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Wow. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take I actually enemies. like the Ninja Gaiden series. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Okay. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Yay! We like my Age of Calamity.
Okay, but what does it include? Newly added weapon for Link, new added costume for Link. Okay, I need to go back and see that again. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for, for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. I've always liked Ghosts and Goblins. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga, Saga Frontier, Frontier has been remastered. remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches okay, April 15th. April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, Legends, and more. Even they just all players about on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Next, please take a look at this. Hello there, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Skyward Sword! Please take a look. Skyward Sword! Skyward Sword! Skyward Sword! It's coming! That's a hard show. I don't see why, why is it a hard show. Yep. This is actually the Legend of Zelda game that people want it to be made to put on the Switch. Screen. <laughs> nice. Very nice. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I know a lot of people's gonna be happy. This game originally Wait, released it, in 2011 Zelda, on the Wii Skyward console, Sword. and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. It's a Wii U game. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control and the only Legend of Zelda game that hasn't the been remade remote plus controller as a sword and, a and the system. nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is now, the shield. By lifting the controller, you, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. Uh, standard controls you can perform other actions like using like that, both controllers to wield a bow awesome. and arrow. 
These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Thank Nintendo Switch you. Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. They actually added button swing controls. Swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Very smart. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Why am I so right torn in my pockets? Is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, have have as the, the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the I events have have around those. the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend of I, Zelda. I have to have the... the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop, and the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I'm quite happy. It would have been nice to get Breath of the well, Wild 2 information, what did you but think? I kind of didn't expect it. The Legend it. of Zelda Skyward Sword has been uh, optimized for Nintendo Switch. The, uh, it includes intuitive uh, motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Okay, Please take a look minutes. at this. It's Splatoon. This better not be Splatoon 3. Wait, is this a Splatoon adventure game? Yo, if this is Splatoon 3, oh my god, if this is Splatoon 3. Is that a bow? That's a bow. Buddy, though. Okay, can y'all not do this? Can y'all tell me what y'all doing? I need some info. Oh, oh, it's not gonna be out until like late next year, probably 2023.
But just know it's coming. There's more than enough to make. I figured as much. Yo, let's go. Let's let's go. I wasn't expecting what you've just end seen end is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information hey, at, at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Still sucks if there was Thank no, you for watching. Still sucks if there was no uh, Metroid Prime information or any Bayonetta 3 information. But I'm, I'm pleased with what, with what they showed. Uh, we get Splatoon 3. Um... <laughs> Uh, no More Heroes 3 got its release date finally. Uh, they touched on a little bit on Bravely Default. They introduced us to another game that's sort of like Octopath Traveler, but uh, with a different, uh, you know, style of uh, battle play. Um, they gave us The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, remast uh, HD uh, Remake or Remaster for the Switch. Um, Mario Golf. It's, they got a new Mario Golf coming out. Uh, Pyra? Uh, no, it's not Pyra. Pyra um, from... Whatchamacallit from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is coming out into Smash. Um, they got a bunch of retro game remakes and all that kind of stuff. I think it was pretty good. That was a direct. Uh, it was worth the wait. I am quite, quite pleased um, with what they showed off.